Hello, this is Anna Mar Brown, host of the Autoimmune Rehab Podcast, located at AutoimmuneRehab.com, where we help you on your journey to recovery from autoimmune conditions or autoimmune diseases. Welcome to today's podcast. In today's episode, I am going to be sharing with you about an aura ring. And I'll be talking about, first of all, what exactly is an aura ring, why you should get an aura ring, why I decided to get an aura ring, why I like it a little better than, say, like the Apple Watch, the Fitbit, some of the different tracking things that are out there, what it tracks, and why I feel like it's a good idea to have one of these if you have an autoimmune condition and where you can get one. Okay, so let's get started with talking about what is an aura ring. So an aura ring is something that I discovered online, and I believe I originally discovered it through Dr. Josh Axe from draxe.com. I believe that he has a post or something out there talking about it, and that's how I originally discovered it. I started doing some different research into things, and I personally have both an iPad and an iPhone, and I'm actually also recording this podcast on a Mac Air computer, so I'm a big Apple fan. So originally I was also researching Apple Watches as well, and I did also take a look at a Fitbit, some of these other trackers, because I knew that I needed something to start tracking some of the different things in my life related to aspects of my health. And we'll get to a little bit more about what an aura ring tracks in a few minutes. But let's discuss first what exactly is an aura ring. So an aura ring, in a practical sense, is just a piece of black. I don't know if it's actually... It's probably not really plastic. I'm honestly not really sure what kind of material it's made of, but it's a black ring and you have it connects to Bluetooth and you wear it on your finger all of the time. And they recommend that you wear it on your left middle finger. Now you can wear it on other fingers as well. They just the company that makes the aura rings has said that if you wear it on your middle finger on your left hand that it will track better there. And I wear it all of the time except for when I get into the infrared sauna. I actually do take it off because I have been a little bit concerned that because I'm heating up quite a bit that that could damage it. I'm not really sure if that's totally true or not, but other than that, I wear it all the time. And well, when I had knee surgery earlier this year, I actually had to take it off for surgery because of course you can't wear anything during surgery. But other than that, I pretty much just wear it all the time. If you decide to take it off, you know, the only time you really want to take it off would be while you're charging it as well, because it does have to be charged via a charger about every three days or so. And the app that comes on the phone will actually alert you to when it needs to be charged. But other than that, you know, pretty much somewhat defeats the purpose of having it if you don't wear it all the time. That's, you know, or more or less all the time. So anyhow, so that is what it looks like, where it is. And basically what an aura ring is, is it is a health tracking device that can be compared, like I said, somewhat to like a Fitbit and Apple Watch, things like that. Um, and I decided to get one because I really needed to track a lot of things. And I, like I said, I did look into Apple Watches, Fitbits, other watches, things like that, and decided I would wrap not have, you know, like a watch on my wrist or have to deal with something bulky or, you know, different things like that. Also, I do a lot of swimming that I like to track. And I know that the Apple watches, especially the new ones that are out now, are waterproof. But, you know, I didn't want to have to be trying to swim with something on my wrist. To me, that's just kind of a little bit awkward. And so I just decided that having a ring would be a little bit more comfortable and would just suit my lifestyle a little better than a watch. I will point out that I don't actually even wear a watch today at all. Not usually, anyway. Occasionally, I do have a non-smart watch that if for some reason I need to be tracking time for something, I might put it on. But generally speaking, I don't wear a watch at all today and just decided that I didn't want to start wearing one. And so, you know, the biggest downside, of course, to the Aura Ring is that it is pretty much exclusively a health tracker. It's not for, you know, you can't send emails or check social media or anything like that from it. It is, you know, just a health tracker and it comes with its own specific Aura Ring app. And if you check out the blog post that you will find accompanying this podcast episode, or if you go over to my Instagram and follow me, I'm on Instagram at Brown Analara. So it's B R O W N A N N A L A U R A. You will see 
that I will do a reel and probably a video and some posts and things that will show you some screenshots of what the app features look like. And I have some that you'll be able to see what the Aura Ring looks like on my finger. So, you know, you'll be able to check that out by checking some of the resources in the notes and be able to get a little bit of a better idea about exactly what I'm talking about. Because one of the downsides, of course, to a podcast is you can't visually see anything. But anyhow, so it comes with its own app. And price-wise, depending on where, when you get it, so I got it actually as part of a Black Friday sale last Thanksgiving, so I paid a little bit less. It typically... And again, it's going to depend also on the version of the Apple Watch that you buy, whether you buy a Fitbit, whatever. You're typically looking at within $50 to $100 of around the same price. I think with the special rate that I got, if I remember right, my Aura Ring was about $250. And you basically just get it from AuraRing.com. But there is a special promo code that I will have that I will include in the show notes that will actually get you an additional deal if you go check that link out. So you'll want to check out that link if you're interested in learning more about an Aura Ring and potentially getting one. So let's talk now a little bit about what the Aura Ring tracks. So it tracks a variety of different things. And one of the main things that it tracks, and this is one of the reasons that I wanted to get it, is it tracks all of your movements and your steps and also allows you to log specific kinds of activities. So, you know, you go walking, you can flag that a certain amount of exercise that you just did was a walking, was walking, you go swimming, you can tag the swimming, you can tag something as biking, dancing, golf, etc. And it tracks it throughout the day, and then at the end of the day, will tell you how many steps you had throughout that day. So personally, I have a goal of doing at least 4,000 steps on Sundays, and at least 6,000 steps per day the other days of the week, and 8,000 or more steps two days a week. So the Aura Ring is how I'm able to track that and make sure that that happens. Now... Obviously, you know, there's some of that is also tracked through the health app on my iPhone, but I don't have my phone on me all the time, especially when I am swimming and different doing things like that. So the numbers are typically going to be lower. So the advantage of the Aura Ring is that it's on me all the time and is always tracking everything. So that's one of the main things is I want to track my activity. But then in addition to that, it also get, tells you how many active calories you burned for the day as well. And allows you to set goals that will determine like how many calories you want to burn per day, how many steps you want to burn, walk per day. So if you're interested in or leaning to release or lose weight, this is a really good thing too. And this was another thing for me too. I'm currently, as of the date of this recording, still about 40 to 50 pounds heavier than I would like to be. So that's definitely something I'm working on. Then a couple of the other things that it also tracks, it also tracks your heart rate, which can give you a pretty good indicator, good idea of, you know, how well you're doing as far as like your heart health goes. It also will track different things like your readiness score. Now what your readiness score means, it means the amount of time that you spend just sitting as opposed to the amount of time you spend standing, walking, moving around, all that kind of thing. And... Can, we'll track it over time, and of course, we'll track your activities over time. So you can also generate reports that will tell you how you've been doing over the past week, the past month, the past three months, all that kind of thing. And then also, we'll check your sleep score as well. So your sleep score is a big one, especially if you have any kind of an autoimmune condition. So the sleep score, along with tracking the exercise and the calories, these were the two main reasons that I decided to get the Aura Ring. So the sleep score, it rates your sleep quality between 1 and 100. And, you know, the lower numbers mean that you're not sleeping to the extent that you should be. And I know before I got the Aura Ring, I thought that I was getting really good sleep every night, but have since discovered that I'm not sometimes getting as good a sleep as I thought. And so it allows you to track it, work on improving your sleep. You also can get alerts via the app that will tell you what time of day at night. It recommends that you go to bed for that night, what time you should get up, meaning how much sleep does your body need for full recovery. It will also compare how much time you spend in bed with how much time you were actually asleep. And then it also delves in even a little bit more than that by giving you like how much actual REM sleep you got, how much deep sleep you got, light sleep, all those different things like that. So lots of different aspects about your health. And then it also will check different things like your um, breathing 
habits, your meditation, and it's actually also a meditation app as well. So there also are some different apps that you can use. So for example, if I were to turn on this uh, different meditation app. So for example, I have a separate Hi, device as well, Kelly but this Boyce. is an example of one. Welcome to a meditation for reviewing your day and letting go of any unnecessary stress or tension. Our stress can follow us into our evening if we aren't intentional about letting it go. So you can see that there's different things like that. That was an evening reflection one, but there's all different ones that are in here inside this app. And yeah, so in a nutshell, those are the main things. There also are some additional things that it can do. You can also, if you're a female and you're still menstruating, you can track your period on here as well. And it will give you recommendations about how to improve your overall health in that area. And then the other thing it also will do is it can give you alerts if it thinks you might start to be get sick. So I came down with COVID back on July 8th and unfortunately, it, since this was the first time, I guess you will, that I had had COVID or that I had been sick in quite some time, I really didn't catch on soon enough. But my aura ring started alerting me probably at about July 6th or 7th, so about a day or two before that I might be getting sick. Now granted, I didn't realize it was alerting me that, oh yeah, you're, you're coming down with COVID. But and, you know, it probably would work if you were coming down with a flu and other things as well. But it's just good something to keep in mind that it can actually alert you to different things like that. Now, granted, it is not an exposure tracking app, so it doesn't let you know, hey, you've been exposed. It just has different measurements that will determine and can track and say, oh, you know, this certain thing might be going on with your body. Maybe you need to investigate it. So in general, it's just a really good app. And like I said, especially if you have an autoimmune condition, it will actually even in a lot of ways measure through your readiness things like your body temperature as well. So if your body temperature drops too much or goes up too high, you can track that. So, you know, and it majority of us that have autoimmune conditions really need to be tracking a lot of these things, whether it's the sleep, our exercise, our calorie burn, how, you know, our temperature, our heart rate, things like that. We really need to be tracking those things and it can help us when it, we have to go to the doctor as well to be able to submit those reports and help our doctor to in turn help us. So I have to say I've been really, really happy with it. I really, really like it. I will eventually, one of the, I guess, downsides, if you will, to it is that eventually I, you know, release all this weight. I'm probably going to have a ring that's too big and I'm going to have to replace it. And I believe that they will replace it once in a smaller size for free. But then, you know, after that you have to keep buying them again, which, you know, but the amount of different information and things and benefits I feel like I've gained have made it worth it. And so anyhow, like I said, if you want to check one out, there will be a special link for you to use that will give you, I believe, some sort of a promotion if you check it out from the description that you will find in this podcast. So take care. I hope you ladies are all doing well. And as always, if you would like to contact me, you can go to my website and you'll be able to see the other episodes of the Autoimmune Rehab Podcast there at autoimmunerehab.com. The free download that I have for you is also there, which is a free self-care journal to help you track your self-care on your journey to healing and wellness from an autoimmune condition. And if you want to stay in touch with me, you'll find a contact me form on my website as well. Or you can also message me or connect with me via Instagram. It's probably one of the better ways. And against my Instagram is brown, spelled B-R-O-W-N-A-N-N-A-L-A-U-R-A. And I will have that linked in the description as well. Take care. And I will chat with you next week on another episode of the Autoimmune Rehab Podcast.